Hey everybody and welcome back to another ProPresenter 7 tutorial. In this video we'll be talking about editing slides. Let's jump right in. The quickest and easiest way to edit a slide with text is to right click on the slide and select Quick Edit. Then we can make our changes and type in whatever we need. As handy as that is, we may need to go in a little further. So let's go into edit mode. Select the editor button up in the top left hand corner to bring up the editing window. In this view, we can do all kinds of things, so let's take a look. Let's start first by adding text to a slide. Click the big plus button and select text. We can type in whatever we need and then make some changes in the text tab, such as font style, size, and color. Let's say we want to add a font type to the entire song. Click the text button up in the top left hand corner and you'll see your style, size, and color. So that's everything we need to know about text. Let's also add a shape to our image. Click the plus button again and select shape and rectangle. Shapes are really handy to add in the spur of the moment to cover up graphics with old text on them. If we go to the shape tab up in the top right hand corner, we can select the color bar, the eyedropper, and then we can match the shape to our background. Let's add one more element to our slide. Let's add a picture. Click the plus button and go to media. Select the image you'd like to add and click open. You can resize, reposition, or crop the image all right here. In order to crop an image, we need to select the image, go to the shape tab, and then select inspector. Once there, we can select properties and check crop. We can then use the handles on the image to recrop it. Once you're done, click the X and you're good to go. Another thing to note in edit mode are the objects. So we can actually put different elements of our slide in the foreground or the background simply by clicking and dragging in the objects section. Once we're done editing our slides, click show. One really important thing to note about working with layers is that when we transition from slide to slide, all of the elements can actually transition at different times. In order to prevent this, we want to make sure to convert the media queue to a slide element. Right click on the slide and select Convert Media Action to Slide Element. That will make sure that all of the elements transition all at the same time. The last cool feature I want to talk about when editing slides is the Reflow feature. Reflow allows us to quickly create slides with text. Let's add a new song. Go to File and New Presentation and we'll name it Grace Upon Grace. Click New and then let's go to the internet and copy the lyrics. Let's go back to ProPresenter and open up Reflow mode. Click the Reflow button at the top of the screen. Now let's right click and paste in our lyrics. Then at the bottom left hand side we can adjust the scale which we're viewing. And then after every two lines we can insert a slide break which creates a new slide. Obviously, if we want to change the text, we can click the text button up at the top left hand corner and resize or recolor the text. Once we're done editing all of our slides, we can go back into show mode and we'll be good to go. If we accidentally forgot to add a slide, go down to the bottom left hand corner, click the plus button and click add new slide. This is a quick easy way to add a slide. So hey, that's all for this video of editing and adding slides.